Hey everybody, the Long Shot Signatures here. This is episode 131 of my 2023 TTM returns, and I have four successes to share with you on this Monday. Normally, I would wait a little bit longer, get a few more returns in, maybe about 10 or so, and uh, do a video. But one of the successes that came back in today took a very long time, and uh, is a very exciting one, so I'll share that with you guys at the end. But we are going to start off with some that did not take nearly as long. First one is a one-of-one one return in 21 days from former NFL wide receiver Matthew Hatchett. He was a seventh-round pick, I think in like 97 or 98. Um, played for a few different teams, uh, the Vikings, the Jaguars, and I think one other. Um, had about 60 catches in his career, so uh, really nice to add him to the 2000 Pacific set. Then we have a college basketball coaching return. This one is a two of two success in 12 days from the women's basketball coach for Kansas, Brandon Schneider. He has been the coach there for several seasons now after uh, uh, stints at Stephen F. Austin and Emporia State. And he won a Division II title with Emporia State in 2010, I believe. And last season won the Women's National Invitational Tournament. Um, which is like a second secondary tournament uh, that's done if you don't qualify for the NCAA tournament. Um, it's a kind of like the, the best of the rest kind of thing. So they ended up winning that last year. So that was a cool one to get back. Then we have some NHRA hero cards. Got back these three of three in 68 days from funny card driver Robert Height. I have so many extra of him, and it seems like he gets harder and harder to meet uh, in person at the drags. Um, still probably the most accessible member of John Force Racing, um, but, you know, you really got to time it up well. And they usually only do about one or two signings um, at the U.S. Nationals during the weekend, so uh, those lines are very long if you don't get there early. But he's uh, still a great TTM signer sent it to him. Um, didn't win another championship this year. I think he was pretty close, but very nice signatures, very great spots. So cool to add those. So this last success was a very surprising one. Came back in an old envelope. Um, I could tell because my handwriting was a lot better <laughs> back then. Uh, it was written in pencil, which I haven't done for a couple of years. And, uh, I could just tell it had been out for quite a long time. Uh, this is coming back from Denver, Colorado. Got back one of one in 2,754 days, just over seven and a half years from former Denver Broncos first round pick, Paxton Lynch. So I sent this not too long after he would have gotten drafted. And, uh, you know, I was super excited to see him. Uh, Get picked. I think he was going to be the successor to Peyton Manning. Of course, uh, he wasn't the starter the first year. Uh, they started Trevor Simeon. Simeon played really well, and it was like, all right, well, Paxton Lynch is going to be a developmental guy regardless, so this makes sense. Um, and things just never really panned out for him. He really struggled when he was on the field, and then once he got anything going, he would get hurt. So he didn't last very long in the NFL. I want to say maybe he had a stint in the XFL or AAF or something like that along the way. Um, but, you know, stinks for him, uh, but really glad to get this back. I do have an autographed rookie card of his that I purchased after he was done in the NFL. Um, was able to get a really good price on it. But to get back the original uh, request that I sent out to him on this Panini Contenders card, seven and a half years, it's just crazy that he still held on to it. I imagine he's probably, you know, moved a couple times for the different teams and leagues that he's been a part of. So very, very cool. I uh, figured you guys would like that one. But that is it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.